Former Anheuser-Busch president of operations, Anson Frerichs, joins me now. Anson, should Elon Musk be worried? I think Elon Musk should be worried. You know, it was only a couple of years ago you saw the Biden administration that was coordinating with Twitter before Elon Musk bought it. It was essentially shutting down free speech on the platform. If this Kamala Harris, uh, if Kamala Harris is elected this year, who knows what type of policies she might bring back where she could potentially shut down free speech in this country and should shut down the platforms like Twitter and maybe even hold some of the, the executives accountable if they don't like the speech on that platform that she's trying to shut down. This is a worldwide phenomenon, isn't it? Attacks on free speech and defense of free speech. It's, it's literally global these days. It is, it is global these days. And I, this is almost something that is... You know, started in Europe a couple years ago, where the European governments were trying to shut down a lot of more right-wing party speech they didn't like. And now all of a sudden, this European model, I mean, it's really this European stakeholder capitalism model that started in Europe, and you know, you start seeing spreading to other parts of the world. It spread to the U.S. over the last couple years, not only impinging on things like free speech, but impinging on basically companies' ability to do business as yeah. well. Wait, You're seeing things like ESG, DEI, all these policies that are more government-imposed, and that's how Europe operates. Coming here to the U.S., I think all of us should be concerned. Even in Britain, they're clamping down on free speech after the disturbances recently. They're really clamping down hard there. But I'm, I want to move on to this. Harley Davidson, their chief executive officer, Jochen Reitz, Zeitz, he's ending the company's diversity, equity and inclusion program after receiving enormous backlash online. Should the German CEO be worried about his job, Anson? I think the German CEO, he should be worried about his job. If you take a look at the company over the last five years, they used to have 50% of the motorcycle market here in the United States. Over the last five years, they only have 38% of that market share right now. So that market share has gone down dramatically since he's taken over. And I think it's pretty simple why. If you take a look at the mission statement of Harley Davidson, there's supposed to be freedom for the soul. That's what their customers want. They want freedom. They want rugged individualism. They want the open road. That's what Harley came to personify for them. But when you have this very this European, this European CEO that has taken on programs like hiring quotas that now have put in these supplier diversity quotas, there's nothing free about that. When all of a sudden, instead of you know being free to have to hire the best and the brightest, being free to choose sort of the best person that is going to supply the parts for your for your motorcycles, and now all of a sudden you're putting these restrictions on them, that's not what that's not what what the customers of Harley want. And let's just see what's happened with Boeing, for example, over the last couple of years with some of their DEI mandates or some of their supplier diversity mandates. You're having airplanes fall out of the sky. You know, what starts happening if people at 80 miles per hour are going down the freeway, all of a sudden their motorcycles are breaking down? Those are big problems. I think people have a lot of concerns. They're right to be worried, and I think that the CEO should be right to be worried about his job. Anson Frerichs, the times are a-changing. Thanks, Anson. Thanks for coming on the show. We'll see you again soon.